What is up, YouTube? Long time no see. How's everyone doing? I'm back. I know it's been, what, over a year and a half since I uploaded a video. I've been busy with life, busy with my business, so I really haven't had time to go out and um, search for electronics to repair. But I've got this here for you. A torn down Wii that uh, my nephew gave me because he couldn't fix it. According to him, it's not reading his uh, Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, and he can't play Zelda. He could play um, other games, but certain games not. So I'm thinking that more than likely, from what he told me and from the research that I did, it sounds like we need to adjust the, uh, the gain or the power on the laser. So I did some reading and it seems like it might be something I can do. Since I've done it with the GameCube, um, and that one was pretty successful. Let's see if we could do the same with this one. Uh, this is what's in the box. He gave me the sensor bar. Oh, the box of screws, by the way. And they were in there. I was wondering what was making so much noise. It's all the screws and battery, and I don't know what else is in it. But mainly the screws, I guess. Nunchuck. The controller. Still works. That's good. Um... The console. I mean, it looks pretty clean. It's got its blemishes, but uh, shield, I guess. Lids, broken covers. This one's broken. Uh, this one looks to be in good condition. Put that aside. Uh, front cover. Uh, a black cover for the controllers for the GameCube controllers and the top bottom case depending on how you look at it um, but in the other half I guess the other half of the case so all this let me just put all this back and so I'm not gonna need it right now I wanted to get lost what we are gonna need is power so here we go let's power this on where is my little stick Remember to always be careful when uh, dealing with electronics that are open, that you don't electrocute yourself accidentally. Be very cautious, please. All right, um, let's press the A button. Okay, cool, that still works. All right, where is my game? Um, let's try Carnival Games. This is a shitty game, I guess. I was reading that uh, dual layer discs uh, usually don't read when the gain is off. So this will verify the laser is good or not. Um, if it reads and we know we have a good laser. So it, it does pick up this game. Let's go ahead and eject this. And now... His game, um, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, it doesn't even initialize. Not enough power to um, initialize the game. So that kind of, let me try it again just to make sure. According to everything that I read, that's the first indication that... Uh, or the first indicator you have an issue with the uh, with the gain yeah you hear it you hear the laser trying to uh, initialize but it just it just sticks okay so let's adjust the gain the gain or the power just depends on what term you want to use they're, they're both synonymous as far as I'm concerned um, unplug unplug all right, so to take off, to get to the uh, to the gain adjustment, which is on the actual laser itself, we need to take out the drive. So for that, we need to take out these four screws. Uh, let me see if I can find a bit. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the screwdriver. It's not gonna fit into, into these holes down here. Let's use this one. Come on. 
Yeah, thank you to those who have subscribed. I greatly appreciate that. I know I've been absent, but I've tried to go in and answer questions whenever I get a chance. So, um, I've, I've just been very busy and I honestly haven't had time to um, take care of my channel the way that I should. But hopefully um, now that everything's kind of settling down, I could um, take care of that and be more present. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this and unplug this. And for this, it's a little, um, this little tab here locks down. I just flip it up. Oops, flip it up and it releases right there. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so now I'm looking at notes while I'm doing this because um, I'm not that good, guys. We're going to unplug all these cables. This one has tabs you need to pull back. Uh, let me do it with this. Uh, we, my fat ass fingers don't cover the whole screen. Uh, where is my little stick here? This one. So you pull this, these back right here. This one and this one and that releases this cable, ribbon cable. And the same goes with this one. Like that. And be very careful because this is the actual laser. It's a 3350-3350. Uh, there's a couple of different lasers. So if you ever need to replace the laser, in case we do need to replace the laser on this, for some reason if it doesn't work, uh, we got to make sure that it matches 3350. And now we've got to take off these two screws. We need to get to the bottom shield here. There's two tabs here holding this board in place. Make sure you careful with that. Let me reroute these cables out of here so I could get this out of the way. These cables are very, very delicate, so be careful with these. You might break them or rip them. It's happened before. So I'm telling, I'm telling you from experience. Okay. Same with this side. Oh, see, I already broke one off. We're gonna have to solder this one on. No big deal, we'll solder that. But that's what I mean, you know, It's they're so delicate. Okay, gotta, take, gotta get down here. We're gonna take this off. And take off this shield. Uh, this shield has four clips. One here, one here, one here, one here. You need to disengage in order to get to it like that. This one's gonna be hard to get to. It's kind of hard to get in there. Oh, damn it. Come on, okay. And now repeat on the other side. Let's stick something in here so it doesn't close and lock again. Oh, this one's damaged. Maybe he did get in here. <laughs> Maybe my nephew got in here. I see some damage there on one of the uh, clips. All right. Careful. Okay. That's out of the way. So here is the pot we need to get to. This one right here. Uh, it's got a test point on top and, a, and two on the bottom and we need to turn that counterclockwise um, until we get to about 600 ohms. Let's see where we're at right now. Let's measure our resistance. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be hard to, hard to see and hard to get to. It's so small. Um, here, let me put this on this side so you can see the meter. And let me go on this side. Right there, right there. Looks like we're getting 1200 ohms. That is crazy. 1289. Holy crap. That's really high. 
that's more than half of where we need to be. So we're going to turn that pot counterclockwise. Let's see if I could zoom in. Let me see how far I could zoom in without distorting the uh, the video. Uh, right there. You guys see that pot right there? That's what we need to adjust. So we're going to turn that counterclockwise. Um, that was my foot. All right, let's see what it reads now. I'm trying to get to 600 ohms. 600 to 700 is an ideal. Really? Did I just hit? Let's see. There, right there. Come on. Those test points, 735. Those test points are so small, it's really hard to uh, try to get with the uh, with the leads here. Okay, so we're gonna go move it counterclockwise, just a bit more. All right. Yeah, without a meter, there's no sense in trying to do this adjustment. Trying to get the right test points. Right around there. Was that five, four, seven? Let's see. There and there. Come on. Down to 300 to, to go that far to 300. It shouldn't have gone that far. I guess it did. 311. Holy shoot. Okay. Let's turn it up. Okay. Let's see where we're at. I might have to get my microscope if I can't get it in. Four ninety five. It's going up. Just make sure. Right there, right there. You have to be very, very patient with this, man. I'm telling you. And that's something that I have lots of patience. Five five six. So five five six. No, 430, Jesus. Let me uh, get a different angle. I can see what I'm doing. There and there. 558, five, okay. Oh man, just a hair. Let's see what There and there. 680. That's good enough. All right, so that's 680 ohms. Let's put it back together just enough for us to test it. Oh, we need to solder back that cable for the motor. We'll do that right now. Let me just get this out of the way. Let me grab my soldering gun. I'll be right back. Let me, um, I need to pause. Okay. Let's get some flux on there. I'm waiting for my iron to finish warming up. Oh, I need solder. Well, I might not need solder. Let's see if I can use the same solder here.
Ah, oh, damn it. Look at the right angle. Okay, good enough. Clean that tip so it doesn't corrode. Awesome. All right, let's continue. Let me get this out of the way so it can cool down. This, this, out of the way. I hate clutter. All right, so that's done. Um, let me put one screw in here so that way it doesn't, so it doesn't fall off. Or short out or whatever, but one screw what would do to hold everything in place. Oh shoot! Don't forget about these. Damn, be careful, folks. That's the one thing you have to be very, very careful. Like just like I did here, you know, rushing and stuff. That's not going to get us anywhere. It's going to create more problems. So let's go ahead and re-plug everything there. There and this one. I'll clean out that, uh, that flux here in a second. Forgot I need to clean that off. Let me grab my alcohol. All right. Okay, good enough. Let's get the other half. These screws. Was it just one or were there two in there? There might have been two in there. It's, yeah. Last thing you want is a screw shorting out your your system. Oh really dude. You're gonna do this to me in front of all these people. There it is. Okay as we were all right this one goes here I haven't really worked on Wii's much uh, the last Wii I worked on I think was I don't even know if I have a video for it or not but it was just a simple cleaning and that's it man okay here we go let's let me zoom out a little bit right there and Plug this one in. Okay. Uh, game, game. Let's start. Well, let's just go straight to the uh, to the culprit. Smash Brothers. Uh, power. Fingers crossed. Will it work? Let's hope so. <laughs> uh, here we go. I guess if you're if you're seeing this video, you already know the answer to that. But let's find out. Uh, okay. Well, actually, it is working because it actually initialized. It's actually spinning the game, so we know that's working. Let's see if it shows up over here. If it does, then we have succeeded. Yep, there it is, man. That's all it was. Gain adjustment. That took care of it. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That makes me very happy. So that's the magic number. Somewhere between 600 and 700. At least for this specific console. A lot of people say it's 600. But, you know, it's so hard to get it to dial it in perfectly. All right, let's turn this off.
All right, time to reassemble. Oh man, all right. Well, let me do this, guys, because I know a lot of people have short attention spans. So I'm going to uh, put in all the um, all the screws that I left out and the and the shielding for the uh, for the laser and all that stuff you already saw me do. Okay, time to reassemble. Clean off this fan. Oops, hit the camera. Get my screws. Oh man. I really hope I'm not missing any screws. I really suck. All right. You need a, uh, a torque screwdriver for some of the screws. Looks like this. Looks like a Y. So uh, Nintendo is the one that uses these screws. So let's hold, let's put the cover, I mean, put the screws for the shield back in. These are tri-wing screws. Perfect. And now we need to get where is it? Where is it? This one here. All these all these uh hold the uh shield in place. That was also a tri wing screw. Let's see if the uh, battery is good. Where is my battery checker? Uh, da -da -da -da. There it is. Um, let's see, positive. Dude, come on. It's low. It should probably be replaced. Let me, let me grab one. Hold on a sec. Okay, it's a 20, 2032 battery. Let me check it, make sure it actually works. I don't know how long I've had these batteries. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, it's good. I was like, it's dead. No, it's good. Full power. All right, uh, the positive up. Like this. Let me just double check that. Make sure it's in right. Yes, it is. All right, Phillips for this one. Where is my Phillips screwdriver? It's in there. It seemed off. Screw is too big. Screwdriver is too big. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, next is the top cover. Let me clean this uh, dust shield. Right here. And this sits in here like that. And like this. Perfect. So far, so good. Now we have these screws back here. Tri wing and tri wing. Your feet. 
Yeah, this one needs to be cleaned. It's pretty dirty. We'll see what we can do. All right, now we have these three here. So tri-wing and two Phillips. Right here. And now we have these over here. Also two of the tiny Phillips. The last two that are silver. Okay. Now we're gonna get the cover. This one here. And then we have these two here. Um, the um, this Phillips Phillips these two tiny ones right here all right next um, let's turn this over like this let's get the front cover on Okay, this one's next, Phillips. Okay, and then uh, this one right here, the other one, where is it? Here it is. Okay, and lastly, all right, these two, yeah, we do have all the screws. Good job, nephew. Only one of these rubber feet, huh? It seems like it uh, to those go there. I forgot. No, these go over here. And it is only one, only need one. And then these are the these crappy ones here, which honestly I mean it's just for cosmetic reasons, but these are gonna fall off again. I have to put maybe some glue on there, some of the um, some rubber cement. Okay, yeah, see, it just fell off. All right, I'll just leave them off. I don't want to lose them. I'd rather just try to glue them on. We'll give it a good clean. Well, not a good cleaning. There's not really much you can do as far as cleaning. But let's let's um, get my cleaner. Where's my spray bottle? Here it is. Just all-purpose cleaner. Doesn't look so. Doesn't look as ugly. All right, let me let me grab the covers. Uh, he did give me one, is it? Gave me this one. Uh, we'll just save this for another way. I'll give him new ones. Let me let me uh, look for them. Where did I put those? Give me a sec. Here it is. These are aftermarket. And for these, straight up um, at a 90 degree angle. And like that. And same thing with this. Like that and like that. And to remove them, it's the same process. Just make sure that you have it open all the way and pull straight up. That's it. Looks like it's floating, but it's not because everything looks nice and flat there. Oh well. This one, I'll save this in case I ever need it. This looks good. All right, let's test it, man. Okay, folks, the moment of truth. Let's see if we are successful with this repair.
Okay. Oh, man. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I hear it spinning. That's a good sign. There we go. Success. Let me... So all it was was the gain adjustment for the laser. And that fixed it. So hopefully you guys, um, that'll help you. If you guys ever have the same issue. And that's going to do it for this repair. Alright guys, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and, uh, all that good stuff. Hope you guys stay safe and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.